Hey, Phone Sites users. So a number of you guys in the past have asked, is it possible to use a video for your meta image or your, uh, your link preview whenever you go to share your Phone Sites funnel on Facebook? And if you're not quite sure what I mean there by uh, a link preview or a meta image, take a look here at Michael Collins' funnel that he shared here in the group to get some feedback. See this image that shows up right here? And then you've got like the, the URL to the site and the title here in bold and then the description. This is all the link preview. So this is what is formed whenever you share uh, your site URL. So you would you type in like HTTPS and then the rest of your, your site. If you don't put in the HTTPS part, then Facebook's not gonna pull in the, the image and the title and description. But my point is, is that some of you wanna know, can you use a video instead of an image? Unfortunately, the answer is no. And the reason for that is because Facebook limits us to just using images. Now, I'm gonna walk you through a hack here that you can use to make this look like someone is gonna be clicking through a video instead of uh, a static image, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hop on over to YouTube and let's take a look here. Now, ideally, you wanna be using your video content. You don't wanna be using someone else's, right? But for the purpose of this video, I just wanted to use, uh, I wanted to compare and contrast here, the thumbnail that shows up for this Run the Jewels song here this video versus this uh, Parks and Recreation video that some random comedy channel has created. You can see that for this video, they've added some text overlay on top of the, the thumbnail, right? Whereas uh, Run the Jewels, they don't have any uh, text overlay there. That's fine. Um, but anyways, let's assume that you wanted to add in some text overlay. We can do that. But the point of the video though is I also wanna put the, the little YouTube play icon that will show up um, that way when your phone sites funnel is in someone's newsfeed. It looks like a video. They're going to click through to that and then they're going to go to your landing page. And I hope you put a video there too, because otherwise they're going to be a bit frustrated if uh, they thought they were clicking through a video and they, they land on a page that doesn't have one. But anyways, let's do this. So I'm going to use Run the Jewels thumbnail here. What I'm going to do is um, let's assume that you've already uploaded your video and you need to go grab your thumbnail. Now, you don't have to use your thumbnail. You can go use some other image that you have and um, use that instead. But I just want to use their thumbnail. So what I'm going to do is, as you can see here, off to the right of my page here, I've got a bunch of HTML. This is the HTML of this YouTube page over here. And all I did was I just went to right click and click on inspect. And I'm using Google Chrome. So under a different uh, browser, it's going to be a little bit different. But basically, you need to find the option that's going to get you the code for the HTML page, for the, uh, the page that you're looking at. So got that open. Next step is um, your browser should have this option up here to select an element in the page to be able to inspect it. And basically what's gonna happen is once I click on the thumbnail, uh, it's going to change the location of where I'm at here in the code to take me exactly where the link is for grabbing the thumbnail image. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this little box here with the cursor symbol. So click there, you can see it's activated because it's blue. Sorry, I wish I could make this a little bit bigger so you could see it, but uh, if I were to expand, or not expand, if I were to zoom out uh, in my browser, it's just gonna zoom out over here. It's not gonna actually zoom out on the right up here. But anyways, I've got this activated. Let's click once into the thumbnail. You can see over here in the code, it changes. Now, I promise you this is not gonna be very complex here. All you have to do is you're just gonna click in these three little dots here. We're not doing any code. We're just gonna go grab this URL here. So click on these three dots, click on edit as HTML. And then once you see this little um, cursor and then this box going around the, the code, you can easily go in here and copy the full URL. So everything in between the double quotes after source or SRC and everything before the, the ending double quotes down here at the end. So go ahead and copy that and um, open that in a new tab. And there you go. So now you've got that thumbnail that Run the Jewels used for their video. So let's go ahead and download this. So I'm gonna go ahead and save image as, and let's just call this, uh, I gotta change the directory. I wanna put this out on my desktop so I can find it really easily. So let's put this in the directory and call it RTJ. And let's just replace that. Okay, so why am I downloading this? Because I wanna pull this into an image editor. And in this video, I'm gonna use Canva. 
Now you could use something else like Pixlr or something else that maybe your computer has already installed. But Canva's pretty cool. Uh, it's free for the most part. Um, they have where there's custom canvases already um, set up for different dimensions for different channels that you're using. So if you're setting up like social media or an Instagram post, Facebook post, YouTube uh, cover art or channel art or whatever, Facebook ads, you can use that. Um, by default, I usually just go to custom dimensions just because I found that the dimensions that they have in here in Canva might not match exactly what I need. I'm going to go into custom dimensions and I'm going to type in here 1200 by 630. The reason for that is because that is what Facebook recommends for the, the meta image, the link preview image. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on create new design. And I'm gonna upload that image. So let's upload, uh, now I've already uploaded this before, but I'm gonna go ahead and upload it again. Just so pretend that this is not here, but click on upload an image or video, go to device and locate your image. Now you could have this image save it out on Facebook or Google Drive or somewhere else, uh, Dropbox. You could upload it from there, but I just added it to my desktop. So let's go ahead and, and um, get that off the desktop here. So RTJ is the one I just downloaded. And so now I'm just gonna click on this once after this little bar is finished, uh, turning blue and purple. That's just the, the process of it fully uploading. So that's done. So I'm gonna click on that once. And now I wanna just expand this so that it takes up the full size of the canvas. So you can see it kind of extends a little bit past that little bit of white at the bottom. That's fine. Uh, you know, I could, I could drag this around if I wanted to, but that's just gonna cut off Killer Mike's head. I don't want that. I wanna make sure he's completely in the picture here. Okay, so that looks good to me. Now, let's finish making this look like a YouTube thumbnail. So the next step that I'm gonna undertake here is, um, out in, out in Google, you can do a, a search for YouTube play icon and then download one of these, whichever one you like the best. Any of these that you see this gray and white checkered background behind it, that means it's transparent in the background. So you want something like that. That way it doesn't have like white edges and look a little funky on top of whatever uh, you have over here in Canva. You wouldn't want to put that thumbnail right here and then have like white at the very end of the YouTube logo. So make sure you get one of these transparent images. You could even do it search here, transparent, right? But I'm not gonna do that. I've already got one of these downloaded. So let's go back over to Canva. I've already got it added in here. It's all the way at the bottom. So let's, let's go down here and find that real quick. Click on that once. Now it's gonna make it really, really huge. I need to scale this down a little bit. So let's say like right there. And then you can see as I drag this around, there's gonna be purple crosshairs that show up. And the purple crosshairs help tell me where it is in terms of alignment. Is it, is it centered vertically and horizontally? And then if I want to, I can make this a little bit transparent. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna change this. Let's take that back to maybe like uh, 85. That way you can see a little bit of LP's glasses underneath of the uh, YouTube video uh, play button there. Okay, next step is, let's say that you wanna add in a little bit of text on here. Um, as you can see back over in YouTube, We've got like Ron and April, they have some text uh, over their Parks and Rec video. Um, this is, so this is like a new uh, artist here, Dominic Fike, he's got some text on his video and so forth. So you could add in all that kind of stuff. Like what you see right here for Webflow, they've got advanced typography. So it's, it's a, and up here for this uh, blooper. So that's a good idea is to put some text on this. So I'm not very creative when it comes to this, doing this on the fly, but let's just add our TJ in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in background, actually not background. I'm gonna put in elements and you can add in shapes. So I'm just gonna drag a square right over here. And let's just drag that down, extend this over, change the transparency a bit. Let's set that to like 68. And I'm gonna put my text in over that. The reason why I did that is because it's gonna enhance readability of whatever text I add in, right? Over the multicolored background here. So let's go ahead and put in some text, drag that down here. And then I can click into add heading and just change this to like RTJ4 for their fourth album. Okay, and then, um, you know, I could change the, the style of the text. I'm not gonna do that though change the sizing, change the color, all that kind of good stuff. So let's ignore all that for right now. And then um, 
Another thing that I want to do in here, again, to make this look pretty legit, um, I'm going to go and grab their channel icon. So it's right here. If I just right click here in their icon, I could go to open image and new tab. Or I could just go to their channel and get their, their icon there. All right, that's taking forever to load. I'm just going to, I'm impatient. I'm going to go back over here. So I'm going to download that little uh, channel icon logo. So let's see here. Save image as. Let's call this RTJ channel icon. Save. Let's go back to Canva real quick. And now let's go back to elements. And I want a circle because uh, YouTube channel circles, or, sorry, YouTube channel um, logos show up as circles up in the upper left hand corner. So let's click on that. And let's make that much smaller. And then let's go to uploads, click on upload an image device, RTJ channel icon, click on open. Once that's finished downloading, we're gonna drag that over to that circle. And you know what, I probably grabbed the wrong shape here. Frames, frames is what I wanted. So let's click on frames. Drag that down. Notice that I align that with the, the edges here, because when I go to align this, this should do the same. And I'm actually, you know what? I don't want it right on the edges. So I'm just gonna drag it right there. That's probably still a little too big. There we go. Okay, so let's try adding in that uh, image of their channel. So let's pull that right over there. And perfect, so you can see now it's got their uh, their channel icon in here, and then we can put in here like the name of the video, and it's ooh la la. Uh, I, I accidentally closed that. Um, text, 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 text. And um, let's see, I just want something simple. And I don't want that to be bold. We'll change that in a second. Let's drag this right up here. And I don't remember the actual spelling of the song, but you get the point. Let's change that real quick because I want something like Aileron regular here to match something closer to YouTube's actual style. And let's see here. Let's drag that down. It doesn't have to be perfect because no one that sees this is actually going to definitely think that this was the actual logo right like they're not going to say like, this is not matching up exactly it's going to look close enough i could sit here for hours and try to make it look exactly like it but that's not the purpose of the video so let's go ahead and click on download okay so let's go back over i have downloaded that let's go back over to phone sites real quick and add this image in i'm under the settings tab i clicked into let me show you that let me slow down a bit here I'm under the settings tab and I'm under the image block option here and I'm going to add it here. So let's go ahead and click into no image, upload image. And then that's probably in my downloads folder. So RTJ four one, I was playing around with this earlier. So this is the one I just downloaded from canvas. So let's go ahead and select that. And again, I want to stress you guys, Definitely do not want to use someone else's artwork like I am. Use your own stuff, but I'm just playing around with this for right now. So let's click on our TJ4, insert. And then I already put in a title and a description in here. So let's go ahead and save this. And then when I go to share this on Facebook, it's going to look like a YouTube video. So let's click on view so I can grab my URL here. And let's go to Facebook here real quick. And I might need to actually debug this or go ahead and post it. Let's go ahead and debug this real quick. Uh, let's see. So this is the Facebook debugger. If you haven't used this, you'll need to use it um, to be able to update your page whenever you've updated the, the title, description, or image under the settings tab like I just showed you back over here. So let's debug this real quick. So I put it, that URL for my site into 
developers.facebook.com forward slash tools forward slash debug. If that was too fast for you, just do a Google search for Facebook debugger. Okay, let's debug this. So there we go. So whenever this shows up in a post, I'm going to have that image and it's going to say, learn how to create a YouTube thumbnail for Facebook post, hack Facebook's meta image limitation in just a few minutes. So perfect. Uh, I'm just going to post this only with me seeing it, but this should pull it in. So there you go. So there's your post. And then if someone clicks through this, they're going to go to your phone sites page, which again, you better put a YouTube video in here if you're going to mislead them into thinking that this is an actual YouTube video. All right, guys, I know that was a long video, but hopefully that's helpful for whatever you guys are trying to do.